When we begin improvising and playing in different keys, we often get stuck playing the same position. We just, we, we learn our position and we just kind of go over and over it again. And it kind of like playing a harmonica, just, if it works, it works, you know? If it sounds good, it sounds good. But it's very important to take that next step and to begin to understand the chords you're playing over, okay? And I don't mean necessarily coming from a complete theory point of view here. Um, it's just really understanding different ways to play the same chord, different voicings for the same chord. And let me explain. So I'm gonna take three chords. I just came up with this earlier. It's just like A, okay, that's an A major. We got a B minor and an F sharp minor, okay? Even if we were to just, as I did in my last video, even if we just to focus on this area here, even if we just focus on this A major pentatonic scale, okay? And the A major, um, the A major scale. Okay, even if we were to just to focus on them, you gotta pick out within this position where those chord tones are, okay? So in that first A major, you've got that arpeggio here, okay? You've also got, then you've got that B minor. Okay, and you just look at that chord. Every single note that you're playing in that chord exists within that major scale, of course, right? So rather than thinking of this just as a shape, start to pick out where that chord is, you know? And you've got that F sharp minor. You've got these notes right here, right? So all of a sudden, when, as, you, as you're approaching this, this from an improvisation standpoint, you start to really understand that, okay, I'm playing the first chord's A. And all of a sudden your improvisation has a little bit more, it grabs the, the backing track a little bit more, you know? It really, it, it, it suggests without, even without a backing track, you can already kind of get a feel for the movement of the song, okay? And really, that comes down to understanding where those chord positions are, okay? Now, we've just focused on these, okay, just within these, this, this, these four frets, okay? We focused on that A position, okay? We focused on B minor and the F sharp minor. Now, you can bring that up the neck, okay? If you start to learn where your different triads, where your different chords are throughout the neck, it, you're playing, rather than just thinking of scales, you're really gonna to start to think of how to put chords together, okay? So for instance, let's move up, let's move up to here. So now here we have an A major chord, okay? This is just a little triad based on that E shape of A, which is that bar chord of A. So if you just take the bottom three strings, you've got your A major chord, okay? And then, if you move that two frets up, you get to your B minor. Your B minor here, look. We just take it on these top three strings, this like little triad, okay? And then if you want that, that F sharp minor, we can go right here. It's like a D minor shape and it's an F sharp minor. So already we have, so already we have an A here. Okay, we've got a B minor here. Right, we have an F sharp minor here. So that's, that's, that's a lot of options we have to start making something a bit more musical. So then if I'm kind of going through my pentatonic or my major scale, I'm thinking, hold on, like, let me just suggest that chord a little bit more. Let's go like, okay, so that's A. that made sense but I, I just hope that you can see what I was doing there rather than just thinking of the the scale that I'm playing rather than just kind of going through the motions and okay the, the scale I know I'm learning to pick out where those chords are you know and just, all of a sudden it's kind of it's a lot of fun rather than thinking of your rather than just thinking of the scales you're really just starting to pick around it with your chords you know and you can explore this you know it's not something that there, I really really want to encourage people to be really curious with the guitar. We often beat ourselves up a bit too much when we're practicing because we're not doing things right. And I know it's easy for me to say I've been playing a little bit longer and I know these shapes, but really 
be patient with yourself, you know? Be patient with learning these things, these concepts. You know, find your A, right? Just even just pick two different ways of playing A. So we got an A major shape here, that's an A shape. And we got that kind of E shape triad. These are two ways of playing it. And then you can just find how they link together, look. So like boom, boom, boom. Already that's a great way to come into something, right? You go. And that's cool, you know, I'm just kind of coming off the fly, it's just improvised. But just understanding how to get from one chord position to the next, it's really going to give you a lot more ideas, you know. It opens up your playing and, and, and suggests different melodies to you. It's just, it's, it's a really nice way of doing it. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm going to put a bit of information on this in a, in a blog post. And I'm going to link that blog post in the description below. There I'll try and put some um, chord diagrams and a bit more information to help you navigate through this. Um, I know it might seem a little bit advanced or you might not really understand what's happening, but I suggest to, to read through that blog post and, and just see if you can start to make sense of it, you know? It's, it's, it, it, they're simple concepts, but they're not easy if you don't, haven't, haven't done them before. Um, but yeah, it's just really about using chords to make your playing sound that little bit more musical, okay? And that's really gonna help you with your improvising, with your songwriting and yeah, and everything in between. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a, a comments or ask me a question in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything you ha any questions you have. And yeah, good luck with it. And yeah, take it easy. Thanks, bye.